Hi everyone, thank you for joining in into this webinar about the best mobile practices for AdWords advertising. My name is Justas, I work for the AdWords Baltics team and today I'm joined by my colleague Evelina who is also an AdWords specialist. Hi everyone. So let's not wait any more longer and deep dive into the presentation. Why does mobile matter? Today's presentation is structured in the following way. At first, we will look at the broad changes in consumer behavior that mobile has brought. Then, we will zoom in into the Baltic scene of mobile advertising. After that, Evelina will present the benefits for advertisers of going mobile, and we will finally share some insightful tips that can help you improve the mobile performance of your AdWords campaigns. So, Let's start off with the changes in the consumer mindset and behavior that were brought by the rapid mobile and smartphone emergence. Firstly, it is clear that the development of a smartphone has provided us with a tool which is much more than just a device. In the beginning of the 20th century, we used to have different devices, tools, and objects to perform various actions. One for listening to music, one for watching TV, reading news, playing games, checking the time, and so on. Today, all these tasks can be done using only one object, a smartphone. Apart from replicating multiple devices to perform ordinary actions, the mobile, with its, with its effect on consumer behavior, has been a perfect place for new innovations to develop. The accessibility, simplicity, and ease of use that mobile provides allowed new businesses to emerge and change the way people think spend their time, and interact with others. Let's now try to understand when consumers are actually browsing on their mobile phones. In the following graph, the mobile usage at different time periods during the day is depicted. Every day there are basically three levels of mobile activity, low, medium, and high, at different sets of hours. The lowest mobile activity, as probably expected, is during the night, from 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. After that, it picks up a bit and is at a medium usage level till 5 p.m. This is the time when consumers become really active on their mobile devices and the activity stays high uh, till 12 a.m., reaching its peak at 8 p.m. Such an even distribution of mobile activity throughout the day can be effectively utilized by smart ad scheduling or even dynamic pricing possibilities at different hours during the day. Now, Let's have a look at how exactly consumers spend their time using their mobile devices. The main mobile user activity can be grouped into three types of user engagement. Informational, practical, and entertainment. While some users primarily use their smartphones for leisure and recreational activities, the majority of them is actually involved in looking for information, either using the search engines or actively looking for different products or services information. As we will see further on in the presentation, this is an extremely important habit within the product purchasing path. In total, based on average European consumers, all the activities that users perform using their smartphones result in 150 looks at their phone per day, or more than 1.5 hours of active mobile use, something which gives advertisers a perfect chance to easily reach their targeted users. While mobile has become such a big part of consumers' lives, the users in turn have become much more demanding. That is why, in order to deliver as good customer experience as possible, the mobile content providers need to pay attention to what the mobile users value. That is, easy navigation on the phone and user friendliness, the possibility to reach the content in different locations and on the go, the ability to pay over the phone, and most importantly, the relevance of the content received. Doing all of this can highly improve the chances of converting customers or increasing their loyalty with your content. Let's now dive into the Baltic scenery of mobile advertising and the recent trends that have been observed. In the past four years, there was an extreme change in the reach of smartphone users across all three Baltic countries. On aggregate, the mobile phone inter internet user penetration grew by 33% every year. Even though the Baltics, except for Estonia, are still a bit behind the Western European countries, such growth will quickly allow Latvia and Lithuania to catch up 
with the most technologically advanced European markets, especially having in mind that the Western markets have almost reached their mobile maturity. Looking at more AdWords-related segments, the search queries and ad click-through rates, we can see an even more impressive development. On average, in the last four years, the search queries performed on mobile phones were more than doubling each year, and the growth seems to keep continuing. Additionally, the ad click-through rates development indicates that people are not disturbed by the ads on their mobile phones, especially if they deliver relevant and timely content. If in 2010 the average click-through rate was just abo above 2%, in the end of 2014 it was already higher than 6%, a massive increase in such short period of time. The trend from these two graphs is clear. People are actively looking for information on their mobile phones, while advertisers can tailor their ads and ad delivery to perfectly match the needs of their consumers. Finally, the following two graphs give you an understanding on how the mobile compares to regular computers and tablets. Firstly, even though the search query gap between computers and mobiles is still huge because of obvious usage time and user penetration differences, it has been quite rapidly diminishing in the last couple of years. An even more interesting transformation is shown on the right-hand side graph. Today, ads are much more willingly clicked on mobile devices rather than desktop computers which was not the case several years ago. The mobile is truly expanding, and now it is the right time for the advertisers to accordingly react. Thank you, Eustace. And now let's take a closer look and analyze the advantages and benefits of going mobile. Here at Google, we say winning the micro moments that matter. I want to know moment, I want to do moment, I want to go moment, and I want to buy moment. You or your clients have to be there on that micro moment when a potential customer is looking for you. Probably you have experienced this yourself that many people search on the go when they are on the bus, waiting in the queue or even watching TV. So being present on mobile increases your chances to win the customer. Mobile helps you to capture customer whenever and wherever they are. They can be in the nature, in the office, late at night or early in the morning. So I just presented the idea of winning the micro moments that matter. Once the customer intent is announced, let's say for a product, service, or additional information, there are multiple ways for search. Some people tend to do so on desktops, uh, some people search on tablets or mobile, but even 90% of our users use cross devices to search and reach for the final goal. It is also important to note that different devices are used for different purposes. Often we see that customers discover products or services on the phone while final purchase is being made on desktop. Thus, for some businesses, mobile is a tool to get customers' first attention, whereas for some businesses, like auto repair or locksmith, mobile is the crucial platform. If your car breaks down, most likely you will not have your computer, but you will definitely have your mobile phone. And this is the moment when you, as a business need to be online and on the mobile in order to in order that people would find you when it is needed another set of businesses that mobile is crucial is crucial is standardized businesses when the competition is high and there is less differentiation between provided services you need to be on the top of the search when customers are looking for you mobile could be very helpful for that as the customers do not compare standardized services for a long time period. After hearing Eustace's part about the changes in the search trends, customer behavior, and both specifics, and having in mind the micro moments narrative, we can shortly describe what steps should be taken to be successful with the mobile advertising. Here you can see four main pillars that are essential for a success. Let's take a closer look to each of them. First of all, you need to make sure your site is mobile friendly. You can test your website with Google Webmaster Tool. It helps you evaluate the website to, if the website is suitable for mobile phone and point out the issues that make a website mobile and friendly. If the test is not passed, we suggest to analyze your website by impersonating a website through a mobile view. Go to your site, 
click on the right button and choose the uh, choice inspect element. After that, click on the mobile icon in the upper page and in the left corner you can choose different devices. Finally, you see how your site would look like on mobile. If needed, exclude certain devices through AdWords campaign settings. Secondly, or the second pillar, is about your advertising campaign's goals. First of all, you have to identify these goals. It can vary from driving awareness, increasing calls, mobile commerce or app downloads. For every campaign goal, you have to adjust your campaign settings, targeting methods and campaign features. For instance, in order to increase mobile calls, you could create call-only ads. For app installs, the best scenario is to show your ads on the other mobile applications, Google Play or App Apple Store where the system eventually learns where you get the most installs. Furthermore, ad position topic. You should optimize your campaign so that your mobile ads would be placed for first or the second position, as the mobile screen is much smaller and people tend to press on the first search outcome. And lastly, the tracking part. You should upgrade your analytics code so that you could collect additional data. Later in the analytics account, you could actually see device overlap section, which shows how many devices are used to access the content. Device path section, uh, which shows the last five devices used before a conversion and acquisition device section, uh, which reflects the relationship between acquisitions and conversions. In the comment section below the webinar, you can see all the necessary links for upgrading the code and tracking cross devices user behavior. That is it for, for this time. Thank you for joining. Uh, stay tuned for the upcoming uh, mobile webinars and um, see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.